I'm Robert Eric West, and this moment in black history is brought to you by West Mortuary. Juneteenth, short for June 19th, marks the day when federal troops arrived in Galveston, Texas in 1865 to take control of the state and ensure that all enslaved people were freed. The troops' arrival came two and a half years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Confederate General Robert E. Lee had surrendered on April 9, 1865 at the courthouse in Appomattox, Virginia. But slavery remained relatively unaffected in Texas until U.S. General Gordon Granger stood on Texas soil and read General Order No. 3. The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with the proclamation from the Executive of the United States, all slaves are free. The Emancipation Proclamation, issued by President Abraham Lincoln on January 1, 1863, had established all enslaved people in Confederate states in rebellion against the Union shall be then, henceforth, and forever free. But in reality, the Emancipation Proclamation didn't instantly free any enslaved people. The proclamation only applied to places under Confederate control and not to slaveholding border states already under Union control. In Texas, slavery had continued as the states experienced no large share of fighting or significant presence of Union troops. Many enslavers from outside of Texas had moved in as they viewed this as a safe haven for slavery. After the war came to a close in the spring of 1865, General Granger's arrival in Galveston that June signaled freedom for over 250,000 enslaved people in Texas. Although emancipation didn't happen overnight for everyone, in some cases enslavers withheld the information until after harvest season. Celebrations broke out among newly freed black people and Juneteenth was born. That December, slavery in America was formally abolished with the adoption of the 13th Amendment in 1865. The following year, free people in Texas organized the first of what became the annual celebration of Jubilee Day on June 19th. In the ensuing decades, Juneteenth celebrations featuring music, barbecues, prayer services, and other activities. And as black people migrated from Texas to other parts of the country, the Juneteenth tradition spread. In 1979, Texas became the first state to make Juneteenth an official holiday. Congress passed a resolution establishing Juneteenth as a national holiday, and President Biden signed into law on June 17, 2021, officially making Juneteenth a federal holiday. Join me next week on this station and on our Facebook page as I continue to highlight our history as proud African Americans.